But I was like working, literally. Like last, and it's crazy because a lot of people gonna look at me and be like, nigga, grinding, he made it. No, that ain't what happened. I was grinding, but you feel me? I made it in a two week span. Like literally, that's why I tell nigga, this shit is possible, like very possible. I made it in two weeks. I'ma keep telling niggas that. And it was really one week, but last week I was telling Chucky, I'm like, I need a raise type shit. Like that money ain't coming in. I need that money. I need a raise. Next, we put a plan together. Next week, I was signed. So it's like, that shit, it's all in that gun, bro. And who you with, who you surrounded by. But fuck work. I tell everybody, don't go back to that nine to five shit. Fuck that. Chase your, chase your dreams, you feel me? That's what I say. I am Super Sean, and this is Famous Before the Fame podcast. Today's episode is sponsored by New Bra Studios. All right, today I got G6 in here. What's good, my G? Yo, 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 chillin'. All right, all right. For those of y'all don't, who don't know, G6 was recently signed to Sniper Gang, right? Yeah, sure. All right, all right. So, I mean, how does it feel, my G, to be sure. signed to Sniper Gang? To be signed, period. I be telling everybody, I don't feel shit. Really, I be, I feel regular. I, I already knew it was coming. Mm. Just timing. Been putting in that work. Yeah. Work. Yeah. It was gonna come one day, shit. Yeah, cause I mean, I seen you had the red dot, the red dot one, yeah. the red dot two. Yeah. You feel me? And then you got some videos out there. Yeah. But as far as like really like being popping and shit in the city, yeah. people would be like, yo, who who's G six? Yeah, like, why why, why yeah. would Kodak sign G six? Yeah, you feel yeah. me? So like, why do you think he even reached out and, and, and made that move? I was telling niggas like. To be honest, bro, it's about that music. Like, nigga will always say, oh, why you getting it? I'm going to pop, I'm going to pop. But then you think, okay, let me put you on the platform and tell a nigga, go listen to your music and tell me what they think. It's going to crumble. But me, niggas loving it. They biting it. So, shit, nigga trying to make some money. You know what to do. Mm. You know what to do. That's what's up. So, I mean, how old are you? Oh, I'm 20. I 20 just turned years 20. Old. Yeah, I just turned 20. And you from Deerfield? Yeah, Deerfield. 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 So, the, I mean, the last nigga to be like popping or signed from Deerfield was Ace Hood. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, like, you from Deerfield. Yeah. Niggas fucking with Ace Hood or what? Oh, shit. I can't. Yeah. They don't fuck him. I don't fuck him. Mm. That was it. I'm from Deerfield. I don't like that. They ain't gonna say Ace Hood, nigga. That was it. And what you think it is? Is it more so like, you feel me? Ace Hood got signed and it was like, fuck Broward. Like, he just ran off or type type shit. Or he never came back to the hood to show love. Like, what was the situation? I, I, I honestly, God, I be telling you, I be like, when niggas be like, oh, he ain't come back to the hood. On the real, I ain't coming back to the hood. But you feel me? It just, it's, a, it's a certain way you do shit. You feel me? Like, I honestly wouldn't know he ain't come from Deerfield. You feel me? If mm-hmm. nobody ain't said it, I wouldn't know. Yeah, what it, like, you feel me? Niggas know now. Nah. Mm-hmm. Niggas know I'm from Deerfield. I ain't tell you that, but you yeah. know. You feel me? So. That's what it is. I mean, some people make that shit known. You yeah, feel facts, me? facts. Like, this yeah, is where I'm be. from, yeah. and some motherfuckers just yeah. go with the flow. You got you to make that spotlight, you feel me? Because if he, if he was putting on like that, shit, it would have been a lot of more niggas. But you feel me? That's what I'm going to do, though. Fuck it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, so, um, I mean, let's start from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? What's your ethnicity? You American, Haitian, um, Jamaican? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm American. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I be wishing I would be mixed with some little Puerto Rican <laughs> shit or something. <laughs> Get Straight that out. South half of a nigga ass, yeah, for Straight real. Out of yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's what's up. Um, so born and raised or what? Yeah, yeah, born and raised. I ain't never leave. I'm, I'm about to leave. I ain't leave yet, though. Shit. <laughs> so you like, fuck it. Like, yeah, like, fuck I it. Be, I got to leave, like? shit. I be homesick, though. I go to Orlando, a nigga be homesick, but I'm trying to get out of this shit. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how was it growing up in Deerfield? Oh, um, it crazy because I grew up, and nobody don't know I'm finna get out of school. Y'all the first one to get it. I grew up in Pompano, right? But I always tell niggas I'm from Deerfield because I got my name in Deerfield. Like, mm. so when niggas say G6, they ain't gonna say Pompano. I got my name in Deerfield. So I grew up like young, doing bad shit, all that crazy shit in Pompano. I think I was in like, when I moved, when I came to sixth grade, first came to middle school, I moved to Deerfield. So yeah, from there, it was just like, build that name. I, I kind of had a plan. I'm like, I gotta get my name gate out here. Nigga don't know me, you feel me? So. Yeah. That's what I did, now I'm here. Mm. So, shit, it played out right. So, was music always the passion or what? Yeah, music been the goal. I played football, but after a while, I said, fuck that shit. Bro. I ain't gonna count. It just, you know, like, something that you, I could have played, you feel me? But this is guaranteed. That's just for, that for me. That's what it is. 
some nigga shit guaranteed. This was guaranteed for me, so mm. I took the route. That's that's the real shit. Yeah. Cause like football, what they say, like a small ass potential. Small. Is actually yeah. Get, yeah. You feel me? Make it. Fact. Bro, Same like thing a with really rap too. Small yeah. amount. Fact. Make it. You feel me? Fact. And he's sitting here watching like, oh, this. That's a small amount of That's why when you see a nigga with that talent, like Odell, Odell to be a fucking fool to say he gonna rap. Mm. Nigga catching shit like this. He gotta be dumb as fuck, but that's it. That's what it is, obvious. That's how it was for me, obvious. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, I mean, as far as like school and shit like that, what kind of student was you in school and shit? Terrible. Fucking terrible. Yeah, I barely made out that shit. Ain't even wrong, but shit, I'm here. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it, nigga. You graduated? Yeah, shit? I graduated by like this close. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you after school got out. Shit. And was it was it something that you did for you or you just did like, I mean, let's do this for my peoples or whatever? No, nah, I, I I definitely did it for me. I'm like, bro, I can't be telling the nigga ass shit. I ain't made it out that shit. That shit shit you could copy and, and get a straight A's. So if I'm fed, I'm a I'm just a dumbass. I ain't wanna be no dumbass. Yeah. So yeah. I, I got it right. I mean, so how was the household? You had mom and pops, or what's the situation there? Um I, yeah, mom and pops. I never know what my like real dad, but you that father figure boy, like that shit. Mm-hmm. Like you can see the difference, you feel me? You can tell the difference, but that shit, mom, mom and dad. That's what I, you know, that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. So um, like as far as the music growing up, what kind of music would you say you was listening to? You know what I mean? Like your parents and shit introduced you to. Straight early. church music. That's mm-hmm. it. Straight church music. That's all I used to listen. Like when I was like six, seven. You know, like the little gospel rappers come to the church. I'm saying every word, <laughs> going to the school, battling the nigga with gospel rap. You feel me? I'm like, that's the shit I heard, though. That's what I heard. Yeah. But that what really got me into like, oh yeah, this shit look raw. This All fun. Right. So that what it was. That's what's up. That's what's up. So um, I mean, did you get any trouble as far as like any you want to go to jail or get locked up or anything like that nah, in situations? But I went to this little program one time because I used to be fighting niggas. Like I went to that shit one time and I was like, you know what? I was sitting next to a nigga, I'm like, what you in here for? The nigga say, oh, I had killed the baby. Mm. I'm like, oh, that, that, yeah, I ain't supposed to be with these boys. Yeah, I, I'm going to just stop fighting for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would, that is, it take one time for me to learn some shit, and it's mm. over. Because sometimes when you don't get that second chance to learn it, you feel me? You don't get that second chance, so. That's real. That's it, yeah. Yeah, that's real, that's real. All right, so, um, I mean, before the music, I mean, what was G6 doing to make, you know I mean, to make money, to make ends meet, to... Studio time, different shit like that. What was you doing? Bro, I was like working, literally. Like last, and it's crazy because a lot of people gonna look at me and be like, nigga was grinding, he made it. You know, that ain't what happened. Mm-hmm. I was grinding, but you feel me? I made it in a two week span. Like literally, that's why I tell nigga, this shit is possible, like very possible. I made it in two weeks. I'm gonna keep telling niggas that. And it was really one week, but last week I was telling Chucky, I'm like, I need a raise type shit. Like that money ain't coming in. I need that money. I need a raise. We put a plan together, next week, I was signed. So it's like, that shit, it's all in that gun, bro. And who you with, who you surrounded by, but fuck work. I tell everybody, don't go back to that nine to five shit. Fuck that. Chase your, chase your dreams, you feel me? That's what I say. <laughs>